I do not have children, so have not had the day-to-day experience of personally helping a black boy survive a childhood where it is possible to be innocent, full of joy, and also stay safe while not becoming jaded or chronically fearful. However, I am aware of how challenging it can be to achieve this. In a 2018 Washington Post article, Valerie Strauss explained how implicit racial bias leads to black students as young as pre-kindergarten being disproportionately disciplined compared to their white classmates. I have younger cousins who have had predominantly white friend groups whom I have had to help understand that they will be treated more harshly and not be given the same grace that their white friends are granted. If their friends decide to do something reckless or stupid, they will need to bow out of said activity because historically their friends will get off with a warning while my cousins could be injured or harmed by institutional policies and or the police. I have seen the bewildered looks when I have warned them of the realities of the world while also not trying to scare them. I have seen their confusion when they ask why they cannot go here or do that when their white friends can. But it is necessary to help them understand in the most gentle way possible that the world isn't fair. The world has different rules for black people, and black males in particular. While little black boys are considered cute and adorable and innocent, Katie McDonough outlined in her Salon article how police see black children as older than white children and more suspect. And God forbid if they are taller or more physically developed than most children their age. They experience adultification, assumed to be older than their age, and therefore harsher treatment than others their age. 